One is not born a woman, but rather one becomes a woman. This quote by feminist author Simone de Beauvoir perfectly captures my own experience as a woman computer scientist and the reason I became interested in the issue of gender disparity. Growing up, I had several identities. This is me as a baby. This is me as a nerd. <laughs> this is me as an athlete. And this is me as a high school student. It wasn't until 11th grade, when I took my first computer science class, that my identity as a girl became apparent to me. We had several group projects, and it was only after the second or the third project that I realized I always had the same partner, my friend Sanjana. And so when the teacher handed out the next project, I looked around the classroom, and to my surprise realized that Sanjana and I were the only two girls in class. No wonder we were always partnered up together. From that moment on, gender became an inseparable part of my identity. I was a girl first, and then an engineer. Luckily, my teachers always encouraged me through all my pursuits, and while the realization of being the only girl stuck with me throughout high school, it did not hold me back. If I were to look back to one moment in my life when I felt like I was becoming a woman, it would probably be my arrival at Stanford. All at once, I found myself surrounded with so many like-minded women whom I could build robots with, write code with, talk about boys with, or even just go shopping with. For the first time, I felt like a woman computer scientist. Not just a woman, not just a computer scientist. For the first time, I felt like I belonged. This led to the birth of Girls Code Camp, or GCC, an initiative targeted towards introducing middle and high school girls in India to computer science. GCC is the brainchild of three Stanford students who interacted with over 500 girls across five schools in India this summer. During the camps, we introduced important computer science concepts and gave the girls a chance to work with each other. I'm unbelievably happy to share with you all today that GCC's first summer in India was a huge success and an important milestone in India's larger movement to encourage more women in technology. Meet three of our girls, Anjali, Sneha, and Meena. Each of them participated in one or more of our workshops. The first of these workshops was hands-on tinkering. In this workshop, Sneha learned the basics of electric circuits. She wired up her own version of the popular game operation and programmed it such that it would cry every single time you heard it while operating. The hands-on tinkering workshops were meant to show the girls that you can really be creative and inventive with computer science. And the girls loved that. In this picture, you can see Sneha's friends build their own Guitar Hero console. Anjali and Meena were part of our web development and mobile app development workshops. While Anjali built and deployed her own website from scratch, Meena developed her own Android app to play the Brick Baker game with her friends. A big part of the success of GCC were the activities, which were drastically different from the theory-intensive courses that the girls took at school. This is one of my favorite activities to help the girls think computationally. I pretended to be a robot and asked the girls to give me explicit instructions on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which I followed verbatim. Often the girls would give me instructions like put the peanut butter on the bread, and I would slam the peanut butter jar on the bread just to show them they needed to give precise instructions to a computer. For example, they, could have, they should have told me to open the jar first. Finally, during the workshops, we also invited women engineers and mentors to share their experiences with our girls. This gave the girls an opportunity to connect with the mentors and approach them for advice and support long after the workshops ended. And this gave me an opportunity to turn GCC into a sustainable initiative. So what's next with GCC? Currently, we're in the process of talking to schools about starting after-school GCC clubs to help the girls build on their experiences from the summer. We're also trying to make GCC an active student group on campus. The responses we received from our students, the schools, and even the parents in some cases was phenomenal. But this is just the beginning. Our vision is to create a network of girls, mentors, and engineers who are all working towards the common goal of bridging gender disparity in technological fields like computer science in developing countries like India. Thank you.